Okay. Try number three. Shot it. See? Every time. Okay. Vinegar and water. I clean. I'm not going to do it three times now. I'm going to hang this coffee cabinet on my wall. I'm going to use it for my coffee and mugs and bring my coffee maker over here. So I have more counter space there. This is my little clutter zone where I repair electronics and whatever. Hood fan out. Would be great. Usually do them on my soldering underneath the hood fan and exhaust out. Do a lot of diagnosis sitting here in my kitchen. But generally you look, you take a flashlight. In most homes you can see a nail impressions. Um, the guy here, he was a body man, so he was really good. I can see an indent right there in this. So I thought maybe there was a nail. Oh, I got one. Okay. Obviously, most contractors and that, you know, you got the stud. So this outlet's on the left side. It's exterior wall to the house. So it's 16 on centers like code. So I can guess right around there should be a beam. Right, right here, which my cabinet is coming over more. So I'm going to miss this beam. And I don't want nylon inserts, but I know that I'm going to catch somewhere in here at least a center for my mountain point in this custom oak cabinet. So somewhere in there, I'll have to pre drill a hole. Then I can do a couple nylon inserts to keep it from tipping. Put another brace on the back side of here down just like that one and she'll be sturdy this is very heavy it's completely solid i can still gotta put the back on it but anyways i got these little neodymium magnets spun this on a lathe just a little jot pen and i know, stick it to things that are ferrous i got a pen oh, doesn't interfere with the cabinet just neat little things so right here I don't want to be jamming all kinds of ink all over my wall, but, but I can reference probably like there, right there. Let's see if I made it some. I made a shiny mark on the wall, which I can just barely see. I don't want to put marks. Take my neodymium. Generally, sometimes it's fishy. Generally, if you have an outlet, you're gonna have a beam running up, and I lost my shiny spot. Right there, right here. So, I found that 16 on the center over here. Oh, had it. See, I got it. It's a neodymium magnet. There's my shiny spot. Got it. I got a, I got a screw, a drywall screw. You're going to be careful because of power lines. You know, you don't want to. You want to be careful. You take it a risk. But now, because I can pull that off just give it a wiggle it's gonna pretty much you know center on that screw as long as the person's not off to the left or right and aren't catching the edge of the beam you should be good to measure your next 16 generally being a magnet it's gonna pull the center if you set the center of a metal tape so you just stick it and hold the magnet so and I'm gonna catch the 16 over here so here I am actually put a mark here because I won't see this behind the cabinet just put a little ding cabinet will stay forever but right around there it's going to be about the middle point of this because i want it over and then i got my my tip here tiffany lamp hey google turn tiff on love that thing some people say oh my god they're staring at us they're invading your privacy what privacy do we have left honestly okay here's my mag so Oh, look at that. There's my spot. Right on that dot. Now, obviously, I don't want to put a fastener here. Because there's a screw there. So you come down higher low. Higher low. And it's going to all be covered up. But this is my beam. I can get a level. Most houses are generally square. But I can run that row. I need to screw about here here because there's the bottom shelf line somewhere sort of that shelf's here and then I'm gonna catch one around here so that's how I do it guys 
So I don't need crazy little, you know, things. So if we were 16 over summers, I could probably catch this magnet. I don't. I doubt that this little neodymium is going to stick in my pen to the wall, but there's a shiny spot. Head. Oh. It's about here. Button mag. It's about the size of a nickel. It worked great. And I can keep going. Obviously, there's going to be right, maybe one here. Sometimes a shortcut and just put the double at the at the. So don't think the 16. There could be two two by fours right up against your window jam, and not quite 16. Okay. So keep that in mind, but that's where I, that's where this is going to get mounted right there. All right, guys, enjoy. And it's now on my cabinet, just to follow up. Where I just showed you guys how I reference magnets. I went out, got myself a, big, a brace board for this. I'm not going to put the back on right now. So my thoughts is I'm going to wind up changing it. Hey Google, turn TIFF off. Hey Google, thank you. Okay. Glad I could help. Yeah, That's sure. You were late to the party there. Okay, let's get my nice fancy little lamp in a safer area. Such a mess. This is my water spot. Always tinkering. Wire chunks and whatever. Let's just clean up a ladybug. Those Asian beetles, they, I guess, are the difference. Okay. Okay, just make sure we're I'm mean, also gonna install some lights, build a nice little crown mold. I gotta do that at a later time. But the lights can go up. Okay, so. Let's see, where's my tape? So here we go. When I measured my coffee maker over here, it's like, you know, 16. It, it, it's tight, very tight, and I don't like it. So I'm gonna go 19, just shy of. So this is uh, roughly 18 light one inch so I'm just gonna jam that on there real quick with a screw so I have a stand because that is actually quite cumbersome it's, it's all solid wood and it just you know up against my wall I don't want to scratch and so I just jam the screw in here oops need a longer bit To do pretty close hmm what could I use for a shim garbage good enough it'll work <laughs> all right Approximately measured. There's the center of my beam. I'm gonna rip a level line. I do have it marked, so I get my level. Hopefully, my four footer will fit there. Cause that's what I grabbed. It does look some close? Close. By my two footer. My two footer actually has a little magnet. One of those little guys little neodymiums and the magnet sticks so that you know there's a shorter 
level my two foot usually what I use to hang pictures and stuff and this is again very handy to find studs so let me just stick this over there let's see will it fit no I'll be back okay I'm back this is the thing couldn't find my other empire this one will do the same thing I usually have doubles of everything okay where were we oh trying to get the centering over so i want my tiffany to to go there so i'm going to do a quick measure i think it's like 16 13 inch so let's pull the 13. i don't want the cover to smack it so i'm dealing with the 39 inches so 13 ugh. Thirteen and eighteen, so it's like roughly thirty inches. And it's twenty-nine, just to make it quick. So twenty-nine. So I, I want to be over. There's a uh, beam. First off, let me try on this work light. Hopefully, it's not blinding us. Hopefully. Okay, a little better light here, Maggie. I already established that as my it's my center line. Okay, so I measure real quick here. The Thirteen. The middle of this cabinet. I'm sorry, it's eighteen and a half. You really you don't want to add just do this 18 and a half so nine and a quarter so, so nine and a quarter so where's that 13 just shy 13 okay so around here it gives me plenty of room but i want it more over here so it means that my screw is going to wind up over here it's not really good so I want them more in the middle, so I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and put her just a little this way. So, got this, uh, it's just a tri blade engraver. So, this hey Google turn tiff on okay tape so the 13 remember I want I'm looking at the back side so I went over that way so I want it more here so what we have 18 I'm sorry 18 on the backbone is obviously a nine just real quick boom nine i mean that's just a real quick of course using hand grenades here so and that confuses you too even you want this over this way so i'm gonna go like seven so these are very sharp I actually shouldn't be holding it like that but back here okay so i'm gonna grab this line it's the back side okay you take a little out of a marker even and see there I got that but I'm gonna be, end up drilling a hole through here so through there hopefully you catch it all in the although my wood mess on this towel I can just shake it off outside but I want I want a nail here or a fastener not a nail but a fastener so let's go over to the next best thing not going to show it how to set up a Craig's joiner. We all doing the stuff know how to do it. If not, leave in a comment. So it's pretty self-explanatory on these things. We're going to do that though. So I'm going to take this baby, lay it down. Oh, actually, I'll do it standing up. I'll just double check level. 
I don't I didn't bring my big square in the house. So just make sure this is level this way at least. In the bubbles. So it means that I could be able to meter out that with my scribe. My little tight trident engraver. That's a nasty little beast right there. Okay, so here's my scribe score mark. And what this is going to be that beam liner. So, I'm going to be exacting on this one if you could. It's pretty good. Oop. Okay, got a little score. So this is going to be where I'm going to clamp my Craig's thing or two. So, little marker. That's yeah, crooked, but it's good enough. I can see it's in, the, in my score line there. Okay, so now we can lay this down. Okay, I'm gonna move that light because I know that's gonna be murder. To the eyes, shutting it off. Probably best for now. Okay. Okay. Line to line. So, I'm drill a hole there. Fashion straight in. Craig's joint, this one. This one here I can get away with using a longer screw. And this one here, because it, I know there's no power lines, but you don't want to bury a four inch screw in there if you're holding 80 pounds on a wall. Typical fastener, crank down with 16 penny diameter, it's about what, four mil. This fastener by itself should hold 200 to 250 pounds per fastener, provided it's put in straight and into a good base, which is hardwood. So I got a couple shorter ones. I'll probably use this one for the straight end. There's plenty. I can get through the drywall and I'll catch, you know, some. And I know the drywall here is a uh, half inch. Dogs. Little bastards. Okay. Okay. Real quick. Probably have to take it off my block. Usually mount it on a bench when I'm doing multiple. So that rolling the burl love these little tools when you click in when they click in Oi. Unbelievable. Okay, it is what it is. I should have grabbed my other set. It'll work. A little foolish. I won't lock in for some reason. I gotta set this up. Uh, Allen wrench. Oh, that's heat shrink tubing. Allen 
wrench. I just had it. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> it's in the pocket. Okay, let's set this up. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, let me get this set up. No, I'm not going to get into depth on setting these up. I might do it wrong, but I know that I don't want my head burying through and I want enough meat. And so, let me discombobulate this thing. I'll be right back. It's like your depth guide on these things. I don't know. However, I just usually look out. That's the same thickness as this. Okay. Go ahead and center that. It's a little blind here. I wanna, this middle hole is what I'm aiming for. Oh, no! Now! Darn it. Okay. I gotta figure out how to get that. On center. So. Somewhere's around there. Sorry, you guys might get blocked up. Trying to find that mark in there. Okay, got it. Oop, this should be it. Ah, just lock that up. Ouch, make certain it's flushed out. Okay. Now, I got this. So I'm going to go ahead and set the depth on this here. Stop. Stop. Okay, okay. Usually I just dump it in. Okay, and I know that I want my screw to only go so far. I got that tip on the end, so I calibrate for that. Yeah, I know I shouldn't probably put the screw on the top side, but I didn't make this cabinet. It's from a recent purchase of a bunch of equipment. So, and this is. What you can do is just holding coffee, guys. Okay. That might be too much. I'm not going to bury it all the way. I trial and error. What I could do is practice on this piece here. Let's do that. Let's practice on this piece. Just put a dot there easier to so I know where it goes I can clean that up with some rubbing alcohol or something okay so pop this off ah, yeah I can't get it past it now all right let me fight that off I'll right there. back Okay. Practice on this. It's the same thickness. Now he's. I, I don't know. I got the instruction booklet. I forgot. I never even read it. One of those guys who don't read shit. 
Let's figure it out. It's not rocket science. Probably could build rockets, no problem. Bear that in there. Pop it. Yeah, see, it was way too steep. Way too steep. It's definitely not right. Uh, would have helped if I would have set my stepper board first. So looks like we got three quarter. So come on in through here. Set the line on three quarter. I'll wind up showing you anyways. Okay, that's there, there. Okay. Give it another whirl. It's flushed out. Give it another whirl. I know that's definitely uh pushing it. See that's a long I hate that I'm gonna do that. Uh, that's a that's a long ways. I'm gonna have a huge I do have a little insert you slide in there to cover them up. Oh guys. Hmm. And I can't get the tool in that way, I don't think. I could have got on the other side. It was a lot better. I doubt that I can. Figure this out with me. Yeah, see, it's not going to work. Well, it looks like I'm doing one of them. I'll be back. Okay. We're back. Almost messed up. Hit the snapshot mode camera. And, uh,. Almost lost the footage. Okay. Not sitting on the table completely. That's dangerous. Let me get this foot back there. Can't wait until I get all this stuff just organized in here. It's driving me mad. Usually. I have a shop that winds up being a dump off area for things. And then I got a clean shop to work. But lately, with all the tools and everything, I'm just buried. Okay. That's your ears. It's gonna get loud. Okay. Bam. More crap to move. drive socket sets. So shit. Okay. Okay. Now we're cooking some petrol I want to keep cut that. So you guys all do it differently. I parked a blade on there. I scored it with a knife so I don't have tear out. Let's see how well ears on the money no tear out both sides razor knife or a scribing knife yeah a little bit of roughage there so i'll go to the belt sander Not assembled. Here's my other one. These are all router jigs and oh, handmade tools for setting up work. I'm just gotta hang them on the wall. I ordered more pegboard, but it's not here yet. Unplug the stuff just in case the kids come around and be messing with things. More jigs. Special jigs for things. A cutting board handle. It's a big 
recessed spark for a cutting board. Or, you know, a tray template. Okay, now we're, we're rolling almost. Uh, yeah, not long enough. Why are I literally only have three outlets in the shop? I spent the last four years battling just so busy traveling around doing things for everyone else. Prep some paper. Definitely go on the back side. Stain it after. Good enough. Firewood from my backyard. You get fallen trees and wind up making computerizer stands and such. This will be uh, in the future. Take this in for the wifey. Where are all your coffee mugs there? I know where they're at. Okay, let me get set up. It's actually type on three in a gorilla bottle. Okay. Okay. Unorthodox to have this. Ah, there's a pencil. I'll find my razor knife. Hmm. I know I had one here. Oop. Dogs. Kids puzzle. Guess what? It sat there long enough, they says, don't take it apart. It's apart. <laughs> where, oh where? Ay. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna bring a square in. I didn't have to bring a square in. Check. Beautiful. Eh, a little loose. Maybe it's not exactly 16. Whatever that was, 16 and a half. I don't want to lose that. It's my Craig joint. Okay. So then. Oh, I'm going to fight that pilot uh, drill in here. This might come in handy for the old Ryobi or Makita. The old Makita. Right angle drill. So, now I gotta walk down to my other shop. I don't know if I'm talking quietly. The wife's trying to relax and watch her television. I'll close her in the room, you know. Okay, well, the whole point is. Do this. Recess flush. Get this established with some glue. And I'll just hit it with some matching stain afterwards.
puppies. They had fun at work today. Forgot they were carbonated. Beautiful day out. Was the short loo. Got a dead one there. It's right over top of my leech, so I gotta have to wait till it firms up and lay a couple logs to bridge over so I don't crush it. But she's gone. I can see it. The bird's landing in it right now. I know the GoPro doesn't really quite catch it. It's an ash tree. All right, let me go get set up, guys. Be right back. Oh, bye. Wet fingers. Ah. Yeah. Good old night, kid. Looks like I get to eat dinner. Take a good 20. I'm right back. Just barely. I didn't charge it. About 10 minutes maybe. I should have. But this will work. Just need the hole. A little hand tool burnishing very sharp should work okay Ugh, missing.
Okay, well, I gotta go find a screwdriver. Ouch. Okay, just need that drill bit. Hopefully I don't break it. Just got wood wedges in there. I have to chuck it in the clothes corner. Okay, show side. I should have charged it. Uh, oh. Oops. I'm going to do is just make a mark on this wood so I can pre drill and not break it. You know, crack the wood and waste my time. So, this should do. Oh, got one. Uh oh, don't break your bit now. Okay. Zombie's trying to get a hold of me. Could be a, a shoe order. Got it. Okay, got that established. Python 3. Waterproof. Outdoor use everything. FDA approved. Love the stuff. Need a new bottle. Okay. I don't have my PC riser. <laughs> oh. One thing about the type on it's a little runny. 
the show side. Ugly. Okay. Just set that there. Ah, brilliant. Those are not going to be the right screws. Because they're flatheads and they won't recess. So, what I want to do is go get some shorters. Phillips. I prefer the Robertsons. They don't strip out so easily. Those are too short. Got the Goldilocks effect going on here. Okay. There, there's a duel. See, I can fit a Robertson in that. This one too. Good to go. Okay, hopefully my glue didn't set up. Oh, we're still wet. Okay, hopefully. <gasps> Dang, the whole way. The whole way. I don't trust because I can only catch one bean. These are only nine inches apart, so I, I, I don't. Okay, protruding. Not. I wouldn't recommend you putting your finger there and doing what I do. I've done this stuff for all my life. So. Just trying to establish it. Okay, that was a little bit of a hassle there. Finding the right stuff. I thought this was going to be cut dry and simple and just work. The Craig's, but it's going to be way. I don't want that. I'd rather have these flushed out than dealing with. So, what we're going to do is send her home. Okay, almost cracked the wood too tight. Okay, and what I did is I put these felt pads because I'm going to be running conduit for lighting. So I'll custom cut the length stuff, but I'm going to park it down here so it's not visible. And I have a, another portion of stand backing that's going to go. There's like a splash plate for my coffee maker. You know, I don't, you know how coffee goes, it steams and. I, I just want that protected. I'm not going to go through the whole aspect of it, but now we just establish some drill holes in here. Oh. Oops. You'll be denting the floor now. Hopefully, you're still recording. My battery is quite low. Yep, we're there. You're still with me. Okay. 
Not much on sugar. Okay. Okay, Google, stop. I'm trying to demonetize my film. Hang on. Real, real great. The conclusion, sum up, summary of it, mounting my cabinet with the little T stand I made. It's telling me to choose other files. I want that file. So, <laughs> let's go take a journey. Okay. So, if Mr. Hero 4 wants to be stunned, got the tea and everything in there. But basically, I took half the stuff outside already. Dinner. Yeah, well, that, that tea bar, the piece of wood I had. Tea. Is that over? No, it was my level. Okay. Uh, uh, titanium in the ankle hobble. Uh. Alright, basically, I had my stand up here. I held it, I held it with one hand and just reach around for the screw gun and the proper length screws and mounted it. She's, she's solid. I can swing off of it. But yeah. She's all mounted. Nice and straight. Some cups. A coffee maker. And a ladybug. I think they, the fluctuation of weather or something. I keep getting them in the house here. But it's all set. Next, I'll be running a backsplash here. Down, the, down, decorative like a trim boards, routed out with a nice edge. Hide, hide my um, LED lighting. It's wrapping around my islands, changing colors. I had to pause the video because it was uh, our dog's dinner time and we started to chit chat communicate. The wife did with them, so I didn't want to have the video interrupted. But for whatever reason, the last file my computer would not read. I'm going to go and try to force it. I don't know. Refresh, restart my computer. I mean, I got 32 gig SD RAM memory, crazy all touchscreen this and that. And she's just being stupid. She's just being stupid. Close. I don't know. So I just close everything here. And I'll restart it. Oop. On. Power. No, this is wrong. This set settings. Tippy. There's power. Shut down. Shut down anyway. I made a. My own. I wanted to put the backs on, but the wife says she she liked to look at the wall. I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't care for it. It's just my little work area here. It's nice cut the files and the keyboard does go in here if I want it out of the way and whatever. Okay. Look at all those fingerprints. It took me a while. I had this computer and I never touched the screen because I can't stand fingerprints on my screen. It's like that Gorilla Glass or whatever. Hewitt Packard Pavilion. All in one. Great little computer. Um, no complaints. Very dusty. 
Swing a spray. Oop, that sucked. Whatever that was. A couple little dots of that. Yeah. Constantly now wiping the screen. Which, once you touch a screen, it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is glass, though. So, yeah, I got the old Zuckerberg deal. Okay. Turn her back on. Make her get all psychedelic. I know what I dropped. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. Went to my little Alright guys, I'm gonna end this here. I'll try to get that film, but if you can't, this is it. Like, subscribe. It's midnight. I'm trying to get this encoded. See ya. Oh, I dropped it earlier. Something I broke it. Oh no! There it goes. Windows 10 on the old, the old Dell Duo. Pulled the hard drive out, put a solid state, updated the memory, fixed the uh, encoding for the docking station. Just once I put the 10 on, I lost all the codecs for the, the neat little JBL dock. Got it. She fixed.
of midnight. According to this, it's gonna rain. Outdoor temp, my front porch temp, indoor temp. Ninety one. We won't focus. Mm -hmm. It's my little computer for my RCs. We use this to uh, do our programming. Cool little thing. Get moving. No. Better get moving. It's touch screen too. Excuse you. Excuse you again. What did you say? I said excuse you. I don't want to choose another. <clears throat> Alright guys. That's it. We out. Encoding. There's another three hours. Okay. Good night. Bump the button. Hmm. This one. Okay, it's not there. Oh, guys. Gales, I don't know. Let's see. Let's try it again. Looking for 
file 40. Yeah, it's doing it still. It's not. Depth perception is off when you open through a camera lens. It's about ready to eat the wrapper and all. Use it a bomb. 